D two D N Y Real World H V A C simplified. And now, in this video, I'm going to be troubleshooting this Mr. B C City Multi. It's a Pumi, and we have some error codes here. And um, yeah, but before we get into the video, I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe if you hadn't subscribed and smash that bell icon so when I upload videos like these you can get them right away so there's the error codes guys 51 I'm sorry not 50 or 51 5201 and 1402 and these are thermistor uh, pressure transducer rather pressure transducer trouble and arrows as you could see and if you want to know how to hook up your maintenance service tool to the system and read the data like I'm doing right now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a playlist on Mr. Bishi VRFs or Mr. Bishi VRFs or Mr. Bishi City Multis VRFs whatever I have playlist on that and I, I'm gonna leave the link to the playlist in the this, this video, video description so you guys could go check those videos out and see exactly how you're gonna connect your system, uh, computer with your service tool and to your system to do diagnostics like this so here you go there are your error codes you can see them all right we're going to troubleshoot that but based on my parker my parker sensors as you can see they are connected high side low side and i'm reading 95 94 95 psi standing basically literally so that tells me uh, uh pressure transducer trouble or not here's your low uh, pressure transducer that's the low side and that's the high side right there right trouble or not if i'm if r14a that's where i'm at right now with this system right we know it's r14a and uh where is it yeah, it's right here so we know it's r14a and if we're standing at 95 by the time this compressor turns on we're going to be in low pressure already right because there's no room you know what i'm saying by the time the compressor turns on this is going to hit 75 like right away like it's just literally it's, it's it, we have a refrigerant charge problem right here out of the box right but anyways i'm gonna turn the system on using this computer right here stay tuned we're gonna go through the troubleshoot and we're gonna verify everything now remember like this video thumbs up you know and um if you want to know how to connect your computer once again or your your, your service tool to the unit i'm gonna leave the playlist of those videos in the description all right um by the way this is the view from my office today. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I think it is. Beautiful view. All right. Beautiful view. Let's look on the other side. Oh, it's a beautiful view. All right, let's get into it. Let's bring me bring back to the main screen. So I'm gonna close this right here by hitting return. Okay. All right, zoom out. All right, so I'm gonna hit return. And I'm gonna go yes. All right, so we're in the main screen. I'm gonna close this. And I'm gonna go into monitor. And if you are pro, you can comment in the comment section. And I'm gonna hit the OC. Again, what I'm doing right here, if you want more in-depth help with this, I have videos already uploaded doing this. So you can, you know, I where I go into detail step by step, let you guys know how to do that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just turn the system on just to confirm that these that those error codes which you saw there is in fact a refrigerant charge problem i mean low refrigerant loss of refrigerant we have a system leak so there is your uh pressure transducers so we're already 92 on the low side and 93 on the high side and pretty much you see what i'm going you see what's going on here here's my sensors here's my transducers and you see what I'm reading, 96. So it's like a few little, few degrees discrepancy. Not crazy. It's not a perfect world. All right. So what I'm going to go do, I'm going to turn on, uh, turn on first unit. Just one unit. Oh, look at this diagram right here. It's pretty cool right here. Isn't it cool? Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? It's pretty dope. Look at that. Here's your compressor. Here's the, the 
high side pressure transducer pressure transducer here is your low side pressure transducer I received a nice little diagram you know pretty cool all right let's get this thing going all right stay tuned so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on one of the indoor units just one because I know it's low refrigerant from experience you know I'm gonna go ahead and turn one of them on turn one just put it in um, heat mode I'm gonna test run and I'm going to go it's on 14 individual so it's an indoor 14 let's just select individual um, set select the address so it's on 14 so there's one 14 and 13 that's the available units and you can tell because they are bold and this is the if you look at my videos that I have from the playlist this is slightly newer so uh you know this version of the MN converter software is slightly newer so things may look a little different but if you can if you learn from the older version of the software this is going to be straightforward same concept you know it's just a little difference in tweaks of the software here and there all right um so yeah let's go select 14 it's already selected and we're going to go test run and we're going to go heat i'm going to crack the temperature all the way up and um we're going to go why well, it is not checked it should be checked and the mode should be checked as well okay all right so that's all good and dandy and we're going to leave the fan in low on uh, low speed don't want to disturb the clients we're going to transmit that boom let's see again what would it, what mistake did I what did I go where did I go wrong 14 let's start this over again let's start this process over again Drive operation you see uh, what's going on I lost communication okay guys my bad my bad my bad so I I, I not wasn't paying attention and I hit the wrong button right, so we're individual that's where it's supposed to be and if you see it's it's uh, set all it's another option but I'm doing individual and uh, come on all right and then here is where you change the address if you want to change the address you know up and down whatever all right so we are going to leave it at 14 because let's cancel that I just want to show you something real quick bear with me and we're gonna go back to the data. So here is your indoor units address, 1, 13, 14. Don't know why they label it like that, but that's what it is. All right, so let's go back into drive operation. Okay, you know, it's a learning curve. You guys are learning as, you, as I go along. That's the whole point of my channel. And the whole point, the whole reason why, the main reason why I'm doing this and you guys could learn, I'm, I earn a couple of bucks by showing you so me going back and forth here is a learning curve for you guys. You guys will, will learn more as well. So we're gonna leave it on 14, we, we won't change it. And we're gonna do a test run. We're gonna do heat. And we're gonna raise the temperature all the way to the sky. Okay? And we're gonna leave the fan in low because we don't wanna disturb the client. And um, we're gonna transmit that. And now it should work with no errors. Right away the machine clicks and the fan starts up see that I don't know if you heard the machine clicks but it clicked it did click let's see my pressures so because we are running in heat you see the suction is the high side and the high side is the low side all right so it's going and uh, let's look at this system real time. Let's close this screen. All right. It's gonna go on the piping diagram because it's pretty cool. Everything's alive right now. I have that one indoor unit on. See this one is on. Right there. See what's going on. 42 psi hmm? low side 
42 psi. Uh, it's a bit weird that I'm reading. I guess on the inside, the, the pressures are different from where these sensors are connected, from where my sensors are connected. But I'm um, reading 98. I don't know why. But yeah, remember if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Videos uploaded on a weekly basis, so I'm, I'm doing uh, 42 and 135. So my sensor is my sensor is probably after on the outside here. This is where white's reading, white's reading. But to see that those error codes, what it amends to, right? These are diagnostics with low and refrigerant. Okay, so there you go, guys. Here's your low side. Now you gotta understand that because we're in heating mode, right? We're in heating mode here. Uh, my sensor is on this pipe, which technically is now your liquid line going back into the condenser. Here's a metering device. And after this, we go into the condenser, absorb your heat, which is your evaporator now because you're in heating mode, that's your evap, because you're in heating mode. And so this is your true suction right here, and it's 8.5. And here's your high side. And so my sensor, my sensor is this sensor, which is the high side. Right, it's under the suction line because we're in heating mode and this is right now technically it's your liquid line this sensor right here liquid line 79 okay so yeah that was the diagnostics again the video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you hadn't subscribed subscribe here you go 8.5 back pressure 172 the compressor is running at uh, 28 it's not even running full throttle even though I only got one indoor unit on but can you imagine what would happen if I put on all three this would be in the vacuum if this compressor was to ramp up, ramp up, ramp up, or go any faster. All right. Yeah. So that was the video, guys. That was a diagnostic. All right. So you see, I got to figure my compass out. You know, figure out what, figure out what I was saying. So this is right here again. Low side is your high side because we're in heat mode, and this liquid, this is liquid line temperature. I mean pressure. All right. So the actual uh, true suction. Is what this is reading and this is after this mirroring device right here LED right there okay and that's why you're reading 7.1 right you trace that around mirroring device evaporator four way valve and uh, compressor and uh, this is your discharge this is where my sensor is picking up the blue side this is a discharge line which is actually a suction line, but it goes on the indoor unit. Indoor unit rejects your heat, comes back around, right? And I can bring that across. Where's my mouse? So the indoor unit goes into your indoor unit, rejects the heat, comes back around. This is liquid, comes back around, and it comes back down here, the same green line. And this is where my sensor is on the outside here. This sensor. This one right here. And then we go back into here, metering device right here. Pressure drops, go into your evaporator, and the circle cycle continues. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this video off.